Hey Madden franchise community, I'm Sean Grady. I'm the executive producer for Madden NFL. And on behalf of the entire Madden development team, we wanted to reach out to say, we see your fixed Madden franchise tweets and we understand your frustration. Now the franchise community is critically important to us and we appreciate, of course, your passion for Madden NFL. We're reading your feedback and we clearly understand that you want more. We've seen your requests for details around what the franchise community can expect moving forward. And while I don't have a lot of details I can share with you right now, I can tell you that today, our team is actively working on bolstering plans to support franchise in Madden NFL 21 and beyond. The development team is collectively right now working from home to prepare Madden NFL 21 for launch on August 28th. But we're also committed to providing updates to you on our thoughts and plans around franchise moving forward before the game launches. So again, thank you for all the passion and the feedback that you bring. For those of you that are gonna participate in the closed beta, we look forward to more feedback later this weekend. Thank you. Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Lord and it looks like we finally, we have finally been heard by EA. Now, of course, you just seen EA's response before I started talking here. That's what they just put out on Twitter. Probably by the time you guys seen that might be an hour, maybe two hours ago, but that's what they just released on Twitter, acknowledging, you know, fixed man and franchise, acknowledging our frustration and the fact that they really truly didn't do anything to Madden and the fact that they had nothing up their sleeve, really nothing else ready to show us. But of course you had to dissect a little bit what he said here and we have to temper expectations a bit. Yes, it is great that they hurt us, but now we have to look that towards the future, right? He said specifically that they are now getting together and they're bolstering ideas for franchise mode for Madden 21 and beyond, which ultimately means they're still in the idea stage. They're now all of a sudden trying to scramble and they're trying to get together. What can we do to please the franchise community? Or what can we do to just get them to shut up? Honestly, that might be the thought process. What can we do? That's what they're thinking about right now. He said that their team is working from home, getting ready for the release of Madden 21. They were doing that anyway. I doubt they're all of a sudden taking a, a detour and doing something different. I think they're still trying to finalize the game because the game needs to be done in a few weeks. So I think that's where their priority is and that's something that they're supposed to do. Now I'm sure they'll have some team members or a team working on franchise mode or realistically, and this is where we have to temper expectations. What can you get done in a month? I don't think it's that much. Maybe next gen has a better chance, right? Because they have a few more months to kind of work on that before what we're anticipating is a November or a December release date. So that is, is something that's, that's cool, but for Madden 21, I just don't think at this point is that much you can realistically do. Maybe you, you know, you change some logic, some AI. Um, I don't really know what else you could change. The, the design, the layout, some color grades. Like, I don't know what you could change realistically in a month is more tuning and patchwork. Basically what we've been getting before. I think that's all you could realistically do in that month span. But the hope is Madden 22, Madden 23, Madden 24. Those are the Maddens that start to get, you know, true innovations in franchise. And I don't even know if we want to call it innovations, just put stuff that was in the game before. The stuff that was in the game in Madden 08, put that stuff back in Madden 22. I don't know if those are called innovations. EA does it all the time. They repurpose old stuff and they call it innovation. So maybe it is innovations, but I just want them to know that franchise matters and I want them to hear our community. Yes, we may be a smaller community, but I don't think we're as small as they make us seem to be. And at the end of the day, we were very, very vocal. They heard us and let's hope that they continue to hear us. We cannot let up. You can't all of a sudden just believe everything EA is gonna say because this was clearly a PR thing, right? They had to say something. They've been ignoring us for the past few days. So they had to say something. This is what their PR team pretty much wrote up for them to come out and say. So they had to say something. We'll see, you know, ultimately where this goes, but the franchise community, the online franchise community, hopefully we've been heard. Hopefully they heard us and this is something that they're serious about and they will make those improvements. I have zero issues with EA supporting mutts. I have zero issues with them supporting face of the franchise. I don't like the name, but that's fine. Isn't it? They're here or there. I have no problems with them supporting that. 
I'm a huge believer, and I said this in my stream yesterday, that as long as a game mode is in a game, it's present, it's there, it's on the back of the box or wherever, it's on the main menu, you need to support that. So if Ultimate Team is a feature, support that to the your best of your abilities. If Face the Franchise is there, support that mode to the best of your abilities. The same with Classic Franchise. If that is a game mode that is there, you need to support that game mode to the best of your abilities. If not, scrap the game mode. Only have one, only have Mutt, only have Face to the Franchise. Don't have stuff that you put no effort into. That's my gripe with EA and hopefully if they continue this and they and we take them by their word, hopefully Madden 21 can get a small improvement, something to make the game different from Madden 20 because there's literally no point of playing the game. I expect them to say something before the game comes out. So I don't think nobody has to go in blind. I think EA has to show some type of, of improvement, whether it's another blog, whether it's a video or a stream, they have to show something before Madden 21 comes out, I think to gain gain any type of trust from the community. I think right now it's just, it's just words and people are being optimistic. I'm being optimistic and maybe it's foolish of me, but for right now, it's just worse. We have to see, right? We have to see action. So let's see something improve for Madden 21 because the last time we heard really anything besides classic franchise was franchise was a focus of Madden again. That was what we heard from Madden 20. And that only lasted for one year. So we don't need them to come back and say, hey, we're gonna worry about franchise again. Everybody goes and buys Madden 21 and then Madden 22 is the exact same thing as Madden 21. So. Hopefully this is true change. Hopefully this is something that, you know, can improve the game mode that if you watch my channel specifically, but the game mode that we all love, right? Let's let's improve this game mode. Um, is a game mode that has carried Madden for so long. And for them to turn their back on that community, I thought was foolish. And it shows you the disconnect that EA really as a company, they do this with their Star Wars games and really every other game. Shows you how out of touch EA is with the player and how much they listen to, you know, the stock uh, holders because those people just want the money and they have to do that legally. Like that's what their job is to do. But those people don't know anything about, you know, what the player wants and they're very out of touch. And hopefully this helps them you know, listen to your, your game changes. You have some good guys there that are passionate about franchise. You even have people in your own circle that is passionate about franchise. Listen to those guys. I mean, we're, we're a community where we put everything we want really out in front of you. You know, I mean, we're telling you the blueprint of what we want to see in franchise modes. I mean, some type of innovation. Heck, I don't even think it's innovation. Just put the stuff that was in Madden 08, Madden 05 that I streamed yesterday. Put those stuff back in Madden 21 or Madden 22 going forward. I'm not even sure that's called innovation, but you know, EA likes to bring up old stuff and put it back in the game and call it innovation. So call it what you want, but there's so much stuff that you could do with franchise modes. And literally you just put the tools out there for people and they're gonna use those. So hopefully, man, this is a true, you know, eye opener for EA. I'm hopeful. Um, hopefully, like I said, it's not, I'm not being foolish. Hopefully this is something that, you know, they are gonna take seriously moving forward. I have very, very low expectations for what they could do for Madden 21. I'm, like I said before, I'm sure they will let us know um, what they do add or improve for Madden 21. As soon as we hear anything, of course, I'll let you guys know. But um, EA, they apologize somewhat. And uh, they said they heard us. What do you guys think? Do you think this is true? Do you think they truly heard us? Do you think we'll finally get some improvements? What do you think they could do for Madden 21? But most importantly, do you think for Madden 22 and beyond, EA is finally going to focus on franchise? Or do you think this was just PR talk, trying to calm everybody down, and then we could go back to doing what we were just doing. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel, man. We post a lot of franchise videos here on the channel, man. So subscribe if you're into that. Hopefully we have a better franchise for Madden 21. That was better than Madden 20. But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace.